everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. So today's video is just a little design for the Charlie's Nail Art collab. Today's theme was glamour and this was the design that I come up with. So to start off with, I'm going to be using Kiki London's French White and I'm using this as a base for the lace design. Now I've probably said this in previous videos, but this white gel polish has absolutely fab coverage. You can usually get away with using just one coat of it, but I decided to do two coats today. So I'm coming in, applying that first coat, curing for 60 seconds and then applying the second coat. And then again, I will pop that in to cure for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to come in with my Nirvana Nail Supplies Goddess Foil Gel. This is my go-to foil gel. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this to the entire nail. Now this is quite sticky even when it's uncured. So I like to just go over it a few times just to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I will pop that in to cure for 30 seconds. Now, as part of the Charlie's Nail Art Collab, the idea is to use products from Charlie's. So first up, I'm going to be using this gorgeous lace foil. I absolutely love this foil. It's beautiful. And I am a brand promoter for Charlie's Nail Art. So I do have a discount code, which is always in the description box below. And in the description box below, I will also leave all the information for the collab. So if you want to take part in next month, then do check that out. The only rules really are that you use products from Charlie's Nail Art, which are all low cost. So it's definitely worth purchasing a few items and taking part. So anyway, as you can see, I've pressed on that foil. It's always a little tricky applying foils to these nail tips. So I just took it off the stand so that I can really rub it in, get any of those creases out. As you can see, I'm just using my thumbs to really rub that in just to help make sure it's really adhered to that foil gel. And then you will start see, sorry, you will start seeing that it starts coming away and then you're just able to peel that off, just pressing it down there a little bit more at that cuticle area. And then I was quite happy with how that transferred. So this is what it looked like. As you can see, I'd say that's like 99% coverage, which is fab for a full coverage foil. I'm then going to come in with my Kiki London top coat and a top coat the nail because I'm working on display tips I just thought I would top coat as I went along so I'm going to apply a nice generous layer of this and then I'll pop it in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds if I'm doing foils on myself I do tend to double top coat just to make sure I don't get any chipping so then I would do two thin top coats but sorry two thin layers but because I'm working on a tip I've just done the one on to the next nail and I'm going to be using Kiki London's Black Heart. I'm going to be using this for the background for my water decals and I only did one coat of this because it is super pigmented so I felt like I could easily get away with just doing one coat. So I'm going to apply one thin even layer of colour and then I'll pop this in to cure for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to be using two lots of water decals from Charlie's. However, I'm not 100% sure if these are still available. I was having a quick look on the website for their names and I couldn't find them. So it may not be that she stocks these anymore. However, do check out their website as they have an amazing selection of wraps and water decals. So I'm just going to be using the peach rose from this set just to fill the nail a little bit more. But first of all, I've cut out that first decal and I'm just placing it in some room temperature water and I just leave that in there for around 10-20 seconds and then I'm just testing to see if it comes off the backing paper if not like it didn't I just pop it in for another 10 seconds obviously I've sped the video up a little bit so that's why it doesn't seem like I've waited 10-20 seconds and then again you'll see here it slides off that backing paper nice and easily and then I've wiped off the tacky layer of that gel polish and I'm just applying that water decal straight onto that black gel polish. I'm not top coated or anything like that. And I'm just really rubbing it down, pulling it out. I feel as though with these particular ones from Charlie's, you can be quite rough and the decals are thick enough to take that. So I'm just really rubbing it out, pulling it nice and taut so that there's no creases and just, yeah, just getting it into position really. You can come over the top with a sponge to dab off any excess water. However, because I'd been faffing about with it for quite a while, I had found that it had dried pretty much anyway. 
So here you can see I'm just still taking my time to neaten out any of those creases. You want to get the decal as smooth as you possibly can. And then this is what the nail looked like so far. I just felt as though the bottom looked a little empty. So that was why I decided I would come in with another one of the decals. So I'm just using that rose decal from that pack that I showed you. I've cut it out as close to the image as possible. So we haven't got none of that excess clear around it. And then I'm just placing that into position, moving it around until it's placed where I'm happy with it. And now that's finished, I'm gonna come in and top coat. So today's theme, like I said, it was glamour and I was a little lost on what to do. I haven't done many of the collabs this month because I've been quite busy, but I do like doing these collabs because they make you do a design that or a theme that you wouldn't normally do. So I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else's ideas for glamour because all I knew was I wanted to use that lace foil. So I'm hoping that you guys liked this as much as I liked how much it turned out because it was one of those ones, it was one of those designs that I struggled with. So for the last tip that I show you in the video, I'm coming in and I'm gonna apply that Kiki London French White. I'm just gonna apply one coat of it this time because it's a base for a shimmery glitter gel polish. So I've applied that, popped it into Cure for 60 seconds. And then I'm coming in with this gorgeous color from Halo. This one is called Celebration. And it's like a shimmery gold colour, so I felt like it tied in well with that glamour theme. But I did try it on its own on a clear tip and it just didn't pop as much. So I decided to pop down that white base first of all. So I've applied a coat of that, cured it for 60 seconds and then I'm going to come in with a second layer. And then once I've applied this, I popped that in to cure for 60 seconds. And I did do this on two nails just to sort of make it look like more of a complete design. Just how pretty is that color? This is what it looked like once it had cured. And again, I'm then gonna come in and top coat. So I'm top coating again with my Kiki London top coat. And again, I'll pop this in to cure for 60 seconds. And guys, that's the end of the video. It's just a short and sweet design, but I hope you all enjoyed watching. And as I said, please do come and take part in the Tali's Nail Art collabs. They are a lot of fun. So this is what all the nails look like together. I hope you like them as much as I did. If you did, then please give the video a thumbs up or comment below. And if you're not already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you did. Take care and I shall see you all again soon in the next one. Lots of love. Bye bye.